use the cathedral that's been provided on Marion Islands to create a very interesting effect. You can capture this lovely cathedral made by Patrick Suarez, my nephew, by right-clicking on it, going to More, and then go to Take Copy. The cathedral, because of its size, is broken up into four parts, and I'm going to click on the second part, and now I'll go to Edit so you can see something about it. And notice how the background just moves on its own. This one is Cathedral Middle. It's labeled Part 2, so you can reconstruct it later. And you will be able to copy it and modify it on your own later. So I'm going to click that to close it. And with all of these, you would right-click on it, move to More, and then take a copy. And you'll go, and if I right-click, I'll find that there are five pieces. Again, you can't put a huge object into your inventory. It has to be broken into smaller pieces. So once you've gotten all five pieces, you would then go to a blank space, preferably. You can see I was working on another one earlier. And you would go down to something where you didn't have a lot of interference from other artifacts or trees or anything. And you would then go to your inventory and take out the pieces. I fall a little ungraciously. But now if I go to my inventory, and I opened these earlier, um, you could look them up alphabetically, or sometimes you can just simply go and start typing in the word. And here you'll see here are my cathedral pieces from earlier. I will click and drag out the front part. And you would put that in an area where you want it. You might want it on top of a hill, or you might want it simply on flat ground. And if I click Edit, I can move it up down and notice the grids that show me where this is sitting on the land and I would then simply pull out the different parts let me move this over and I would then find this thing keeps like getting away part two and you'll have to position these so that they don't uh, so they're all on kind of the same plane you can do it visually or you can if you're really better at this than I am you could line it up using the grid structure and that probably makes it the easiest because it can take a little bit of work to assemble all the pieces again. You'd probably want to make your own floor and there is a floor that you could get but a floor can essentially be just a matter of creating shapes that you've learned from other tutorials. Enjoy creating lovely cathedrals using the work of Patrick.